Hi, Bob. Agent of Down has tagged me to ask you a question. And I really don't want to ask a specific question. What I'd like to do is to read some passages from the book of Ecclesiastes and just have your general thoughts on the sentiments of the writer in these passages. So I'm going to be reading from the New Jewish Publication Society translation in the Jewish Study Bible. And uh, I'll leave references uh, in this particular translation in the description. So, I mused, God will doom both righteous and wicked, for there is a time for every experience and for every happening. So I decided, as regards men, to dissociate them from the divine beings and to face the fact that they are beasts. For in the respect of the fate of man and the fate of beast, they have one and the same fate. As the one dies, so dies the other, and both have the same life breath. Man has no superiority over beast, since both amount to nothing. Both go to the same place. Both came from dust, and both return to dust. Who knows if a man's life breath does rise upward, and if a beast's breath does sink into the earth. I saw that there is nothing better for man than to enjoy his possessions, since that is his portion. For who can enable him to see what will happen afterward? I further observed all the oppression that goes on under the sun, the tears of the oppressed with none to comfort them, and the power of their oppressors with none to comfort them. Then I accounted those who died long since more fortunate than those who are still living, and happier than either are those who have not yet come into being, and have never witnessed the miseries that go on under the sun. In my own brief span of life, I have seen both of these things. Sometimes a good man perishes in spite of his goodness, and sometimes a wicked one endures in spite of his wickedness. So don't overdo goodness, and don't act the wise man to excess, or you may be dumbfounded. Don't overdo wickedness, and don't be a fool, or you may die before your time. It is best that you grab the one without letting go of the other. For one who fears God will do his duty by both. To conclude, For all this I noted, and I ascertained all this, that the actions of even the righteous and the wise are determined by God, even love, even hate. Man knows none of these in advance, none. For the same fate is in store for all, for the righteous and for the wicked for the good and pure, and for the impure, for him who sacrifices and for him who does not, for him who is pleasing and for him who is displeasing, and for him who swears and for him who shuns oaths. That is the sad thing about all that goes on under the sun, that the same fate is in store for all. Not only that, but men's hearts are full of sadness and their minds of madness while they live and then to the dead. For he who is reckoned among the living has something to look forward to. Even a live dog is better than a dead lion, since the living know they will die, but the dead know nothing. They have no more recompense, for even the memory of them has died. Their loves, their hates, their jealousies have long since perished, and they have no more share till the end of time in all that goes under the sun. Go, eat your bread in gladness, and drink your wine in joy, for your action was long ago proved by God. Let your clothes always be freshly washed, and your head never lack ointment. Enjoy happiness with the woman you love, all the fleeting days that you have been granted to you under the sun, all your fleeting days. For that alone is what you can get out of life, and out of the means you acquire under the sun. Whatever it is in your power to do, do with all your might. For there is no action, no reasoning, no learning, no wisdom in Sheol where you are going. So, 
be interested in what you think about that, Bob. Bye.